Hey everyone, Kumo here. Welcome back to my 100% Platinum walkthrough for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. There's a lot to go over in today's video, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. The video is going to be quite long because the episode that we're going to be doing in the trial takes quite a bit to finish. We are also going to be playing a little bit of detective and going around from area to area, questioning people and also looking for clues. There's going to be a magnifying glass that we use to examine things. Kind of like Carmen San Diego or Where's Waldo where you use the magnifying glass to search for areas and things like that. And that's what we're going to be doing. And we're also going to be questioning a lot of people and kind of playing the detective role to gather information to use in our trial. So uh, we're going to be continuing on. There's going to be a cutscene and then some dialogue. I'll be skipping a lot of the dialogue. I'll only be leaving in important details. But the rest I'm going to be skipping so prepare for that. Uh, you don't have to skip, you can watch the dialogue if you want um, when you're playing, but I'm going to be skipping it because if I don't, uh, the video will be like three parts and it's going to take forever. So, we're going to load our save and you should be getting your second trophy here, I believe. Yep, your second trophy should pop here when you select this trial. So we already selected the trial last time. So you're going to select your second trial and um, it's going to be called the um, case two turnabout sisters is what you're going to select. And it's just going to go straight into this cutscene. So basically, um, I don't want to say anything. I'm just going to skip the dialogue. I don't want to say anything bad. Kind of spoil things and stuff like that. So I'm just going to stay quiet. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about what you guys need to do. So, um, here we go. September. All right. So, strange. The guest chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. So, if you didn't gather already, um, we're gonna go to move here, and then we're gonna go to office. Alright, so these two are sisters, if you guys didn't gather from the text already. So, there's that. All along with the episode, Turnabout Sister. Sisters, so. Alright. Um, the strange girl dropped out cold. I left her laying on the office sofa. Unfortunately, I really am sad because Maya was one of my favorite characters, or Mia, whatever her name is. I can't pronounce names very well. So we're going to examine and we're going to go to her head and just click on it. Died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. And there's some broken glass here. Um, that's going to be also automatically added. And now there's a piece of paper here, and we're going to click on it. Alright, and now we are going to hit L1 to slide, and we're going to go over to this phone here and click on it. And there's going to be some dialogue. She's staring right at me, she's holding a phone in her hand. We're going to back out and go to move, Bay and Cove offices. There she is. May I fail. So we're going to hit talk, and then what happened. Let's skip a little d dialogue. You and the chief, sister, so they're sisters, so you're the younger sister, 
keep some evidence for her. Okay. And now we are going to present and then go over to the receipt, which has her name on it. Hit triangle. Alright, now we're in the detention center, so as you guys gathered, she's being prosecuted for the murder of her sister, so we're gonna need to defend her. Say, so yeah, of course I will. Let's skip this dialogue. And now we are gonna talk to her again. Day of the crime. And then go to your cell phone. Spirit mediums. So she's a medium in training. Hit accept. So she wants us to go and ask another lawyer to present her. And now we're going to hit the day of the crime. So we need to go gather more information now. So press circle, we're going to move. And now we're going to go to the Co offices again. You're going to select Detective Gumshoe here. I'm gonna talk. And then Mia. Maya. So select Maya next. Edgeworth is the next option. Now you're gonna select Of Course I Do. Press circle, we're gonna present, and then we're gonna go to um, Maya's memo, press triangle. Tell him straight. back out, we're going to move, and we're going to go to Gatewater Hotel next, now we're going to examine now, move your magnifying glass over to this drawer with a screwdriver in it, and press X, you 
is gonna come and stop us. Then we just talk to her. She's not really gonna give us any information, so you can just kinda skip through it. She decides just basically that she can't. In this room. Alright, so now we're gonna back out. Never gonna go to move. And this time we're gonna go to Grossberg offices. We're gonna ask him to present um, Maya as a request. She wanted. Mia said that if she were to ever get in trouble, we come to this guy. And Maya requested him, so we're gonna try to get him to defend her. Talk to him. Your refusal. Alright, and now we're just gonna move. And, um, move back to the detention center and tell. May have the unfortunate news that that Grossberg guy doesn't want to defend her. That jerk. So when I talk to her, talk about her family. When I was very young, I don't know where my mother is. Uh, your mother. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in their blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man. He ruined our mother's life. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes. I've gotten used to it. Also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. Um, your mother's enemy is the next option we click on. So who was this man that ruined your mother about 15 years ago? There was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, so they were getting desperate. They didn't use a medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. The case was solved. We thought the man my mother helped basically was like, yo, this evidence is fake, blah, blah, blah. The police consult consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret. A man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. So, yeah, the, the, she did a medium and she contacted basically the dead and um, they solved the case, but, um, it turned out that person was innocent, so, the, she got a lot of backlash and disappeared, so that's the backstory on that. Defend Maya is what we're gonna choose. Select I can't abandon you. Now we're gonna move again, and this time back to Gatewater Hotel. Move. Gatewater Hotel.
I already can see them in here and click on the screwdriver. So, it, just so you guys know what happened in the dialogue, basically, um, a guy with the same name as, as Maya, as Maya mentioned, the person that ruined their mother's name, um, was named White. Last name was White, and White called. So, and wanted to speak to the girl in the pink outfit. So, he's like, is that a coincidence or not? Now we just found a wire tape. Something suspicious about this. Alright. Now we go to the court. Save for progress. I'm gonna choose no. You guys can save it if you want. We didn't miss anything. I'm choosing not to save so I can um, continue on and not, you know, waste time. I want to get this video out and make the video as short as possible. So I'm going to skip all necessary, unnecessary things. But feel free to save, guys. So he's explaining what happened in his point of views, so... I'm gonna skip this dialogue, and now we're gonna go over it one more time. Cross-examination. Here comes a paper that introduces us to a new, um, ability. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. So we're going to press them and try to get them to slip up. So we're going to scroll to where it says the one attacking her was, oh, let's see, Maya's autopsy report. As soon as the police call came, I rushed into the scene, press X. There were two people, go to the next one. The defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Fay, immediately arrested Ms. Fay. Boy, the witness, okay. The witness saw Ms. Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. All right, so. Why we had a witness account describing her is where we need to stop. Now we're gonna hit L1 here to press that. to the text where it says before she died. So after you okay, skip, skip, skip. Before she died, this is where we're gonna press R1 and then we're gonna present the uh, autopsy report here and press triangle.
No, we're gonna select the day after the murder. Edgeworth. You're a sham, Edgeworth. That's what I'm gonna choose. Say yes, I'm doing it. So we're gonna stop where it says the mousy looking girl. Mousy looking girl. So we're gonna hit L1 here to press this. I question the testimony. You're lying. We're gonna go over to the statue thing. The weapon I saw it. That clock, um, the kind of statue we clock, the thinker I think. You're gonna press R1 here and then you're gonna present the thinker here with triangle.
We're gonna select it couldn't have run. It's empty. That's what we're gonna select. select the Maya cell phone here and we're gonna hit triangle to present this. select yes here we're gonna go to the thinker and then hit triangle if you guys remember correctly there's only two thinkers ever to be made um, Larry made um, both of them one for him one for his girlfriend from the last trial We're going to select here, you had heard about it. We're going to go over to the wire tab and press triangle. Let me skip some dialogue here. I'm going to go back to the cell phone and present it with triangle. Now we're going to say you did it, didn't you? Call the bellboy as a witness. Accept the condition. There it 
cross examination. I brought it to a precisely the requested time, of course. We're gonna hit L1 here to press this. Press L1 here. Test. This is what you're gonna click. Check in. Edgeworth, get wrecked. A man with Miss May is what you're gonna select. So now we're on day two now. Still got quite a bit to go, but we'll finish. Okay, so now... Grossberg Law Officers. Feel free to save. I'm gonna skip it just since it, for sake of um, not worrying about the video or like less time in the video. So we're gonna examine. We're gonna move um, Grossberg Law Office. Examine this photo on the table. And then we're gonna choose DL 6 Incident Exhibit B. To back out, move, Gatewater Hotel. We're gonna talk. We're gonna select Miss May. The man with Miss May. The hotel. And back out. And we're gonna present. Then this photograph. 
with the DL6 incident. Now hit triangle. So we found out who it is. Choose have him. Uh, we're gonna choose have him rate it. Move next. Um, detention center. Now we're going to present photograph Bellboys, um, this thing. I can't read that word, but bellboys, whatever this word means. Push her hard is what we're going to choose. Back out. We're gonna move across both law offices. Today's trial, the refusal, Mr. White, that big painting, he's blackmailing you. A DL6 incident. Now, reason for blackmail. Back out. We're gonna move Fay and Cobal faces. Examine. We're gonna go to. The shelf on the right. Um, we're gonna select file one through A, the first one. And we're gonna hit read it. Examine the shelf on the right again. And now J through S. Skim. We're gonna move back to blue core. So we are going to select present. We're go over to newspaper clipping. Present.
You blackmailed him. You're wrong. Feel free to save. Choose let it go. press right here the victim she ran away but you gave chase now we're gonna present and then we're gonna go to May testimony She's both all right. I'm gonna go to the red K here and then press triangle. With the last of her strength, 
She ran to the right. Mia's autopsy report is what we're gonna present. I looked at the other window when I heard the thing fall. We're gonna hit press here. We're gonna select, yeah, very odd. Now we're gonna hit present here on the a light stand was lying on the floor. And now we're going to go to floor plans and we're going to present this. Almost done everyone. So close. Just bear with me here. We almost got it. It was the beginning of September. We are going to press this by hitting L1. I had entered the Faye and Crow Law Office. We're going to press this. Of course I have done so to place the wire tap. We're gonna press this. Glass light stand. We're gonna press this one as well. Now we're going to press X until we reach the end of the cross-examination.
Just you wait, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. So we're gonna present here. And we're gonna go to the receipt and hit triangle. Object here. Now we are going to select Mia's memo. All right, guys, I think we did it. Should be getting the trophies pretty soon here for uh, Turnabout Sisters. This is so sad. R.I.P. Mia. I really like Mia. I'm so sad that she's gone. At least we got justice. The dude's in jail now. 
So here we go, Turnabout Sisters, guys. We finished. Well, ladies as well, non-binary pals, everyone. Not just guys. We did it. Let's go. All right. All right, that c concludes today's very long episode. Um, I had to mash through everything to get it done in under an hour because unfortunately I don't have a uh, PC to or a capture card. I'm doing everything on the PlayStation and the PlayStation 5 does not let you record for more than an hour. So I had to like kind of speed through everything. So I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode three and uh, we'll continue on. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care and good job on your trophy and completing this trial. See ya.